whatever. How many machines have you come into contact with today? You may need to think about that a bit. How did you get to school? How was the cereal you had for breakfast made? Did someone sew the clothes you are wearing by hand? If you're watching this on your computer, you're using one right now. Towards the end of the 19th century, there was an explosion of technological innovation in the world. The widespread use of machines had shifted economic production from agriculture to industry in many parts of the world. By the 20th century, advances in electric power, manufacturing, and communications modernized the way people lived. Trains, planes, and automobiles made traveling great distances faster and easier. The pace of modern life increased, and the world was on the move. Artists wanted in on the action, looking for ways to take part in this modern revolution. Some artists began to look beyond traditional modes of artistic practice for original ways to represent the effects of these fast-paced changes on the world. A bit later, a few artists began to question the static nature of traditional painting and sculpture. They wondered why art couldn't be dynamic like this new modern world. Artists like Guam Gabo, Marcel Duchamp, Alexander Calder, Ligia Clark, George Rickey, and Jean Tingelet began to create artworks where actual movement was an integral part. This movement provided a physical energy that was different than anyone had seen before in art. This type of artwork would become known as kinetic art. The fascination with this kinetic energy would continue in two directions. As the century progressed, younger painters explored the visual nature of kinetic energy in two-dimensional form. Young sculptors continued producing three-dimensional works that explored how actual movement would enhance the viewer's experience. In this video, we're going to look at five contemporary artists who continue the use of movement in their art. Korean artist, Duk No Yoon, trained in metalsmithing and jewelry making as a student. His small wearable sculptures incorporate movement that he hopes gives vitality to the work through interaction with those who wear it. The impetus for Jennifer Townley's artistic practice is making intricate sculptures that move to create evolving patterns. Jennifer's work often moves slowly and her construction has to be precise. Even though her sculptures are continually distorted, they are known for their tranquil nature. Theo Jansen blurs the line between art and engineering with his collection of strand beasts. Utilizing evolutionary theory in their design, his beach animals as they are known, have evolved to become more and more self-sufficient and survive independently by reacting with and to their environment. Using mechanical form to express ideas about life and memory is what Taiwanese artist Xiu Ru Xian finds interesting. Often made up of many interacting parts, his sculptures can appear quite simple at first glance. His work includes sound as well as movement. Rebecca Horn's early work explored the limitations and alteration of the human body. Many of her early sculptures were accompaniments to performance art pieces. In some of her later work, she contrasts the mechanical nature of machines with delicate aspects of nature like butterflies or feathers. Contemporary art often blurs the line between artistic means and other disciplines. These five artists combine movement with other elements in their work in an attempt to bridge the gap between art and life. Although each artist has a different approach, their work is a poetic meld of art and engineering. 